to it, subscribe, like the video if you like it, and share it to a friend you think might need it. This video was up by some non comments, so if you have something you'd like me to do, leave non comments and I'll check it out. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. So, for this song, you're gonna need a lot of bar chords and a lot of power chords. So, if you're a beginner, this song might, this song might be difficult for you. First thing you're gonna play is a D minor chord. And to play that's gonna be 5th string, 4th fret, 4th string, 6th fret, 3rd string, 6th fret, and 2nd string, 6th fret. And then, next thing you're gonna play is an G flat chord. So, it's gonna be 6th string, 2nd fret. 5th string, 4th fret, 4th string, 4th fret, and 3rd string, 3rd fret. Then the next thing you're going to want to learn how to play is an A flat chord. Let's play that's going to be 6th string, 4th fret, 5th string, 6th fret, 4th string, 6th fret, and 3rd string, 5th fret. And then the next thing you're going to want to learn how to play is a F power chord. And to play that, it's going to be 6th string, 1st fret, 5th string, 3rd fret, and 4th string, 3rd fret. And then you're going to want to learn how to play a B flat minor chord. So, and to play that, it's going to be 5th string, 1st fret, 4th string, 3rd fret, 3rd string, 3rd fret, and 2nd string, 2nd fret. And then you're also going to be needing a C power chord. And to play that, it's going to be 5th string, 3rd fret, 4th string, 5th fret, and 3rd string, 5th fret. And then the last one is going to be an a flat power chord. And to play that's going to be fifth string, fourth fret, fourth string, sixth fret, and third string, sixth fret. For the intro, you're going to start with the D flat chord. And you're going to play down, up, down, up. And then you're going to play down. And then you're going to take your finger off from third string, sixth fret to third string, fourth fret. And then you're gonna play fourth string, sixth fret. And now you're gonna play the exact same thing, but instead of playing the fifth string, fourth fret, you're gonna play the sixth string, fourth fret. And then strum down, up, down, up, and then down. And then you play the same thing, so the third string, fourth fret, fourth string, sixth fret. And then you go to the G flat chord. And play down, up, 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 down, up. Then repeat the same thing all over again. So now that you play that part, you play the sixth string, fourth fret, and then you go to the B flat minor chord, and then you strum there once, and then you go to the G flat chord. And you play down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then you go to the C power chord. And you play down. And then you slide from the C power chord to the D flat power chord. So you're pretty much just moving a single fret up. So this is how the intro sounds like. Verse is the same as the intro, but instead of playing it once, you play it twice. So, Second time, you just keep playing the fifth string, third fret, or the C power chord. You don't go to the next one. And then on the C power chord, you just play down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and then go to the next part. And now for the chorus, you're gonna be going from the F power chord to the C power chord, and then you're gonna go from you can either play the G flat 
or G flat power chord. Let's play the power chord one is going to be 6th string, 2nd fret, 5th string, 4th fret, and 3rd string, 4th fret. So either one. And then you play the D flat power chord. And the strong pattern for each of them is going to be down, up, down, up. So the F power chord, down. And then the C power chord. Then repeat one more time. And then the G flat. D flat. And then repeat one more time. And also, if you don't want to play the strumming pattern, you can just strum the chords down once. So. And then whichever one you play, you're gonna be doing the whole thing two more times. So mm -mm. and then for this part, you're gonna play the exact same thing that you stopped on. So the D flat power chord. But for the D flat power chord part, you just pluck the fifth string, the fourth string, and the third string together. And if you can, if it's not too complicated, you can bend the strings, but that's a little bit too advanced. So if you want, you can just pluck them all together. And then you're gonna move those fingering down three frets. So now it's gonna be fifth string, first fret, fourth string, third fret, and third string, third fret. And then I'm just gonna pluck the exact same three strings. And then you're going to play. And then after you play that part one, two, one to the next first. Let's just play the exact same way as the first verse in which you play that pattern two times instead of once. And then you go on to the next part, which is the chorus. And then for the next part, which is the chorus, you just repeat what you always played in the chorus. So this four times. Second time. Four time. Mm -mm. So I made a mistake. Um, after you play that part four times for a chorus, you don't play the D flat power chord. So what you're gonna wanna play instead is fifth string, fourth fret, fourth string, fourth fret, and third string, sixth fret. And you plug those three strings together. <laughs> and then I'll repeat the exact same fingerings, but on the first fret. So now it's gonna be fifth string, first fret, fourth string, first fret, and third string, third fret. And then just plug those three strings as well. Actually, you can do whichever one you want, whichever one feels comfortable. And then for the bridge, you're gonna be playing the D flat power chord four times. And you're gonna be playing the strum pattern down, up, down, up. You're gonna play the strum pattern four times. So down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up. And then you're gonna go to an A flat power chord, which is sixth string, fourth fret, fifth string, sixth fret, fourth string, sixth fret. And then you're gonna play the strumming pattern here twice. So down, down. And then you move from an A flat power chord back to an A flat chord. For the last two of the strumming pattern, instead of playing the third string, fourth fret, you're gonna be playing the third string, fifth fret. So, uh, and then repeat it all over again. Two, three, four. And then go 
to the G flat chord and then you just play the pattern it four times so one two three four and then go into the last chorus and for the last chorus repeat the pattern repeat the pattern three times so second time And then this part, remember the 5th string 4th fret and 4th string 4th fret and 3rd string 6th fret. And then after you play that one, you're gonna play the, the C power chord. I'm gonna put the three strings together. Then I'm gonna play the D flat power chord. And then put the fifth string, fourth string, and third string together as well. And then go back to the C power chord. And then you're now gonna be playing fifth string, first fret, fourth string, third fret, and third string, third fret. And then go back to the C power chord. And then the D flat power chord. And then pick one more time. So this is how the whole song sounds like all together.
of this video help not forget to leave a like subscribe to more videos like this so to a friend think might need it leave a comment down below on what tutorial you would like to see next don't forget to follow me on instagram and i'll see you next time